Pink, it is delightful to meet you. Thank you. I've never been in an interview room with so many things. Me neither, Lights, actually. apparatus. Yeah. Well, lights are important when you're a girl. It can be important as a boy as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, my question to you before we start is, you've yes. just been to France. I have. And I heard you speaking some very good French. Thank you. So Merci please, will you, <laughs> please will you count us down backwards in French, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I'll, I'll try, yes. yes. Should we try it? Let's do okay. it. Here we go. The other thing to say is, usually I structure these interviews very carefully. Okay. But with you, I think I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and fire lots of fairly random questions at you. You sure? Okay, here we go. Cinq, quatre, trois, deux, un. And we are in. Right. <laughs> are you a spiritual person? Yes, very much. Does religion play a big part in your life? Um, my mother is Jewish. My father was sort of an atheist Catholic <laughs> that says the nuns prepared him for Vietnam. And I, I love Native American spirituality and, so, and paganism. And the, I've studied Buddhism. And I think organized religion is, is one of the top problems of the world, actually. So, no, I'd say I steer clear from religion and go straight towards spirituality. What do you think happens after death? I definitely believe in reincarnation. What are you going to come back as? I would like to come back as uh, someone like my, like me, is dog. How? <laughs> <laughs> Should we just run with that? <laughs> yes. How would you define love? Love is the point of everything. Tell me about how you started out as a singer. Did you train? I took singing lessons, yes. I, I trained classically. I sang opera and um, show tunes. So how did it happen? How did you end up as Pink the pop star? I just sang all my life, and I had punk rock bands, and I had rock and roll bands, and I did talent shows and sang Madonna songs, and, and then I was in an R&B group, and then I sang in clubs and just got a record deal and kept going. So what do you think about talent shows? Do you think they're good for music? I think talent shows when you're a child is good for uh, live experience and um, practice. And I think televised talent shows are like watching live karaoke. You've got a new album. Is it number six? Yes, number six. Number six. Yes. Why is this different? How is this different from other albums? You've collaborated with Eminem? Yes. And Lily, Al and Lily Rose Cooper. Lily Rose Cooper, indeed. Lily Rose Cooper. Thank you for correcting me. <laughs> uh, Eminem, Nate Roos from Fun, and uh, Lily Rose Cooper, who I adore. Um, what were you trying to achieve with this album? I'm always trying to be better, whether it's performance or songwriting. I think vocally I'm a lot better because I don't smoke anymore. So um, Do I you... just try to not repeat myself and try to evolve and try to just get better. Do you ever switch on cheesy question perhaps do you ever switch on your own music to change your mood because you might know what it could do to your mood yes sometimes when i need to be sad i'll listen to one of my sad songs are you basically a happy person i'm a joyful person i think happiness is is momentary what's the best thing about being a successful musician for you is it the Getting stardom? Getting reservations in restaurants. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. It's a refreshing answer. <laughs> By far, my favorite Do you thing. get a lot of reservations I get, in restaurants? I do. I've actually had to, because not many people care about Pink, apparently, that sometimes I call and say that Pink and, and Tina Turner are coming in, and then I show up and I tell them that Tina's coming later, and now I've just blown that secret, so I'll never gonna, get another reservation again. It's certainly not going to work in this country. <laughs> no. All right, you must have been asked this question a lot of times. Why Pink? Yes, lots of times. Well, I don't know the answer. <laughs> Not done enough research. Tell I don't me the know answer. that that is appropriate for television, pre-Watershed, as you said. Okay, well, we'll leave it, <laughs> shall we? So tell us all your real name. Alicia Beth Moore Hart. Are you a political person? I would say I can be a political person, depending on uh, the mood that I'm in. Sometimes politics, to me, are a puppet show. What was the last book you read? The last book I read was The Paris Wife, about Ernest Hemingway's first wife. Would you say that you have a life philosophy? Yes, also not appropriate for television. 
<laughs> you can't moderate it in any way. <laughs> My life philosophy is to thine own self be true. So are you a philosophical person? Are you an intellectual? Strike me as though you do a bit of thinking. I do a bit of thinking. I'm an analytical Virgo. What's it like picking up a family as a big star? It has, it's, it has so many pros that the cons don't matter. Do you enjoy the travel that you must get to do with your job? I do. I enjoy the travel when I get to see something other than the hotel gym and the venue. Tell me a little bit about the moment before you step on stage. I ask a lot of people this. Mm -hmm. Are there big nerves still after all these performances? If Ten it's a seconds. Uh-oh, if it's a show where I'm collaborating with other artists, I tend to get a little bit nervous and competitive. Quickly. But if it's only mine, then I'm A-OK. -okay. A few things outside music. Ah, it's <laughs> over! <laughs> well, no, no. <laughs> Except the great thing is we can cheat. <laughs> so, so, well, just so much for that me. big clock I'd, in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> That may have to be edited. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly tell me some things outside music. Some things outside music. Wine. I'm a wine snob. You could t you could teach me a thing or two about wine, could you? I could. I don't know. Maybe. I think you could. I took the London School of Wine online courses. Should we finish? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice to see you. <laughs> Thank you.